Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about Azure uh, Container Registry integration with the Security Center. Now, ACR is a managed private Docker registry service that we all know and it stores and manages your container images for Azure deployments in a central registry. It is uh, based on the open source Docker registry version 2.0 and if you are using Azure Security Center standard tier, you can add the container registries bundle. This optional feature brings deeper visibility into the vulnerabilities of the image in your ARM based registries. Now when you, but this uh, feature is charged per image. So you have to be cognizant of this fact. Uh, but at the same time, enabling the container registries bundle ensures that security center is ready to scan images that get pushed to the registry okay now uh, let's go to the architecture diagram so this is a very basic architecture diagram which clearly uh, explains the benefits of integration and uh, uh, and and how it is done so as you can see that uh, uh, vulnerability scanning and security recommendations these are the two key areas when it comes to vulnerability scanning so all pushed uh, linux images uh, what happens security center is scans the image using a scanner from uh, from a vendor named qualys and uh, this integration with the qualys and security center is uh, is is by default so you don't have to do anything when you use uh, uh, Azure Security Center uh, for this integration for integration with the uh, Docker con uh, Azure Container Registry. Now the second part is so as you can see in the diagram, uh, every time a new container registry is uh, pushed uh, and uh, uh, that is getting scanned by a vulnerability scanner uh, named Qualys, and then uh, it goes to Azure Security Center for analysis, and then uh, it it reflects vulnerability details with the CVRT uh, classification. Security recommendations for Linux images with known vulnerabilities are published in the dashboard uh, and the security center also provide details for each reported vulnerability uh, with the CVRT classification as it is mentioned. Uh, additionally, it helps you uh, with the recommendations and guidance on how to remediate the specific vulnerability uh, found on each image pushed to registry so that is an added uh, advantage so you don't have to uh, google it you don't have to do your r d once you get that recommendation and you are satisfied with the remediation you can discuss uh, with your operations team and uh, you can uh, go to the next step okay now what are the things that you need to be mindful of so what type of images can azure security center scan so when we talk about images means uh, there are so many different type of images but uh, you have to be very clear about the options which are available uh, so you don't go over the board so security center scans linux os based images uh, that provides shell access and the qualis scanner does not support uh, uh, minimalist images such as docker scratch images or uh, distro less images that contain uh, that only contains your application and its runtime dependencies without a package manager shell or os so that's an important point how does azure security center scan image so, so it's very simple the image is pulled from the registry it is then run in an isolated sandbox with a quality scanner that extracts a list of known vulnerabilities then security center filters and classifies findings from the scanner when an image is healthy security center marks it as a healthy image security center then generates recommendations only for images that have issues to be resolved how often does azure security center is scan your image uh, so image scans are triggered on every push 
Uh, can I get scan results via REST API? This is uh, a very uncommon question. People don't ask this question or customers don't ask this question. But those who are, uh, those who are, uh, those who understand container registries and the security aspects, API aspects very well, uh, they know uh, these options. So yes, uh, you can do that uh, as well. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you for watching this presentation to the end. Uh, if you have any comments, please drop in the comment section. Have a great day. Thank you.